about suffering out of compassion for people other than oneself who are being horrendously oppressed. When there is compassion, there is no suffering. When the ego is at play, then there is suffering. So the idea even that you suffer in compassion for the oppressed. This very idea is false at its fundament because when there is compassion, there is no suffering. Compassion is almost the opposite of suffering. It's like when you experience compassion, you can't suffer. What compassion is, is the ability to understand what the other is going through. And you can't experience compassion if you don't experience love. And you can't experience love if you don't tune into the truth that is your master, the, 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 the soul. And when you experience soul, in that moment you experience love. And when you experience love, in that moment you experience love for the other because that soul material that is within yourself is the same thing as that which is within the other. So the idea that compassion and suffering go hand in hand is falls at the fundament because it is the ego that provides you with the suffering that you need to feel as if you are compassionate and loving. Doesn't it make sense what I'm saying? It does, yeah. It's a, it's a completely corrupt and twisted understanding of giving and loving And the untwisting is where you stand up one day and you say, no, no, not any of that anymore. Also because that suffering that you connect with compassion, it actually reduces the system. It pulls down the system. Whereas compassion is something that moves outward. It's in, it's in giving. He is to pierce beyond all those ideas and actually make that connect with the Antar Atman, with the truth of your existence. So it's very important to make that step. And to know that it is the ego which causes suffering. So when you embrace suffering, you are embracing the ego.